Hi everyone, I'm Peter McKenzie. Um, I'm from the UK. I work for a company called MarQuest. Um, one of my, the things I love is protocol analysis. Okay, um, I think packets are exciting. Um, I'm sorry if that makes me boring, but I do. Um, something which, um, the reason I asked to do this 10 talk um, was following Jay's 10 talk yesterday when he said the future of packet capture is from an AP. The thing that really surprised me wasn't what Jay said, was the reaction he got from that. Um, and the fact that people seemed to think that was in some way a bad idea or something that wasn't very obtainable. Um, talking about, someone mentioned carrying around a wireless controller with you. Um, so I just thought, so the whole idea with this really was just to maybe try and talk to you a bit more about it. Um, one thing I'm interested in, you've all got a little, um, dongle which you can capture from. What essentially this is, is an 802.11 station. You also have in your packs an Aruba AP. This is an 802.11 station, okay, essentially. Um, I can use this as a capture adapter to my laptop. I can use this as a capture adapter to my laptop, okay? So it might be an AP, but I can also easily use it to capture packets, and that's really what I want to show you today. Um, we can, if you want to talk to me, I think there's some um, intelligent ways we can talk about power in this, um, but I probably won't cover all of that today. Um, but you know, you could Velcro on the back of your laptop very easily if you wanted to. Um, and all you need to do is connect it. All I've literally got it is an Ethernet cable into my laptop here. Okay, I'm just going to show you the process of taking these Aruba APs you've got with you, you've all got one of these, how you can effectively use it as a device to get packets into an analyzer. I thought it'd be interesting for some of you to see. So that's what I'm going to demo um, right now. So the first thing is I'm just going to connect to the AP. You can, with the Aruba Instant AP, the ability to do packet capture on it, turn it into monitor mode, you need to, you can only do via the console. There's no way of doing it via the GUI at the moment. So it's, it's a console operation. Um, or if you want to do it via GUI, you do need a controller. But you don't need a controller if you've got an instant and you've got it. So I'm just going to log on to it. I've just put in the wrong password, so it's going to tell me that's wrong. Um, I forgot what I changed it to. <laughs> I, I didn't want lots of people going, hey, we'll hack the instant AP while I'm up talking and screw my, <laughs> I know what you guys are like. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is, it's really simple. The first, there's, a, there's a literally a few commands to this. Um, the first command you need to know is you need to know what it, the um, base BSS ID is. So basically to, to pick which radio you're going to capture from. You can capture from the both, but you need to, um, and the command to do that is show AP monitor status. Can everybody see that, or is it a bit small? Do you want me to make it bigger? Let me try and... Um... Is, that, is that better or worse? Yeah. Uh, that's good, okay. So show AP monitor status tells you actually quite a lot of information. The bit of information that's sort of key is going to be the, if we look up here, um, let me go a bit, uh, sorry, a bit higher. You've got BSSID, and we can see that monitors enabled, scan enabled, and we can see the two MAC addresses, the one for the A radio and the one for the 2.4 gig radio. So I'm just going to use the 2.4 gig radio one up here, okay? Um, that's the one I'm going to use, and you need that for a command a bit later on. So the command to start and put it into packet capture mode is, it's pcap, and it's start, and it's got quite a lot of elements to it, this command. Um, so I'll explain it roughly what each one is as we go through them, but the first one is you need to put the, that BS 
at's ID into it. So you need to be able to say, which you're basically just telling it which radio you're going to capture from. So I copied it into my buffer so I can paste it in there. Um, the next thing is the IP address of where your analyzer resides. So mine's just on my local IP address, which I have set up. So the IP address of my laptop I'm going to put in. There we go. The next part of the command is um, the port you're going to run on. Now in OmniPeak, I'm going to put it into OmniPeak. You could put it into Wireshark. You can specify which port it is. So I'm going to use port 5000. And then I'm just going to do a question mark and show you the options for the next part. So the next part is a format you want the packets to be delivered in. Um, and we can do straight PCAP format um, if we're going to do it into, like, say, say Wireshark. Um, but we can also do it in peak format, which is what we're going to pick for OmniPeak, because I'm going to put it into OmniPeak. So I'm going to pick one, but you'll see there's also one for our magnets as well. So if you want to put it into our magnet, you can pick the air magnet format. So it's just key to make sure you pick the right um, one for the tool you're using. So I'm going to pick one. Um, and the last element of this command is you say the maximum packet size you want to capture, which I, I, I find a bit frustrating that I need to tell it that, but that's something you have to tell it. So I'm just going to um, allow in for uh, a 2304 payload and some MAC header, uh, and uh, I'm going to do 2346 just to allow for, uh, for this example. And there we go. It started sending data out there. I can view that by do, doing a show PCAP. So yeah, if I spell it right, I can do it like that. And it'll tell me that I've got a packet capture going. It says it's in progress. It's a bit because I've made the text bigger, it's going over the screen, so it's a bit not so easy to see, but you'll get the idea. Is Let's it just in one stream? I mean, how, how I've just said it for, uh, I'm, it's to do with how you've configured the radio for operation. So it, it, it's going to capture, um, I've just picked the 2.4 gig radio there, but that's why I put up BSSID. I can set another capture going on the 5 gig radio simultaneously and have them both being streamed into OmniPeak. You do, do that command twice, but with the, the MAC or the BSSID off the other radio. Um, okay. You, it's a channel you have it configured for. So this is configured, I think, for auto. So it told you actually in that last command which channel it was operating on. It's channel one here. Um, so this is capturing on channel one. Okay. But you, you, if you go in and configure the channel to another channel for that radio, it'll capture on that channel. So you specify that. And you can do that through the GUI. It's only this command you can do CLI. In OmniPeak, then, um, I'm going to click New Capture. And in OmniPeak, they've got these modules built in now to the product. You'll see there's an Aruba remote adapter module. So I'm going to pick that. I'm going to choose a new one. Port 5000, the port I picked is the default. That is the early information you need to give it. I need to say, listen on port 5000. Anything coming into the MAC to, on that port, it's going to pull out the packets. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it, um, I don't know, let's call it my free IAP. Okay. Um, and I'm going to start capturing. And I'm just going to start an Aruba capture. There should be packets already there. And there he is. And it is literally that simple, guys. Um, if we look at the wireless lands, we can see our meeting place. And that is how easy it is to configure an Aruba AP, get it capturing packets, pouring them out to a capture tool. It's really easy. As I say, we might want, for, for mobile, we want to be able to power this via a battery. Or I think there's creative things you could potentially do with all the USB ports you're now not using because you've not got your adapters plugged in and maybe do some sort of USB PoE adapter. I'm working on that, so when I get something, I might blog about it or something. Um, one let, the, the other thing you can do is if you're using a battery power, this is really just for Keith. Um, I thought you can have this, Keith. Um, <laughs> Try channel. Yeah. What more do you need? 
<laughs> Segway. Yeah. And you've got three, so you can capture all three channels. That's me done. Thank you very much. Thank you.